Welcome to the Anking's Advanced Searching Tools. There's a bunch of key tags or phrases you can use to, to more accurately find things in the browser. This includes things like deck, tag, added, rated, is, the negative is, which means it's not, or this thing here, I just wanted to show you that when you add quotes or when you put the, the or in between the words, you get a totally different effect. So we'll be discussing all of these in this video. Okay, these searching tools are really useful. They're a little advanced, but they're super useful when you get them down. The first one I want to show you is deck. So if you're up here and you type deck foundations, it's now going to show me all the cards within my foundations deck. Now you can also achieve that by clicking on these, but the important thing is if you include it there, then you can include things after that. Like I want to see all the buried cards within that deck, so that's important. Second thing I want to show you is tags. Same thing, you can click on the tags here, but I want to show you the difference. Now, notice here, this is an anatomy tag that has a second tag within it. I have lots of tags within it. If I delete the asterisk, notice there's 581 cards. If I delete the asterisk, now there's 55 cards. So I'm only getting cards that are tagged with that specific tag. Adding the asterisk does everything within it. Okay, the next one I want to show you is the added. Now see, I clicked on added today. It's going added one, but if I want to see cards I added in the last seven days, I can also do that or whatever you want in that regard. The next thing I want to show you is the studied cards. Rated is the key for that. Now these are cards that I rated today. If I wanted to see cards I rated within the last seven days, now I'm getting everything within the last seven days. But here's the cool thing. If we click again today, now it's doing rated one, one. So this is all cards that I rated the number one button, which is the again button. But if I wanted to do within the last seven days, all the cards that I hit again on, now I can pull them all up. I can also do all the cards I hit two on, or I could see all the cards I hit easy on. So if I wanted to see what cards I hit easy on today, there's three cards that I hit easy on. The next thing that's super helpful and it's not really included in this other than the is new button is is suspended or is buried. This is one I use a lot is buried because now I can see all the cards that are buried and I'll typically go look at those right before I go into quizzes to make sure that I'm not missing anything. The other thing you can do is if I'm going into my new cards deck here and I do is new it's pulling up all my new cards but it's also pulling up the suspended cards which in my Zonky step deck, if we do that, is new, I'm getting basically all suspended cards because most of them are suspended right now. So the trick to doing that is if you do combine these, is new, and then the minus sign before the is is not, so I'm going to do is not suspended, now I can see all the cards that are new and not suspended. That's super helpful. Now the other thing I want to show you is what different types of search cues will do. So if I type in heart beat, you can see I get six cards that have heart and beat. Now let's say I want heart and beat exactly in that way. Now I'm only getting two cards. You can see now it says heart beat. But if I want heart or beat in my card, I just put an or there. Now you can see I have 582 cards. So those are really useful. Now let me show you why. Here's a good example. I will include the link for this in the descriptions. This is a document and here's an example of someone's class objectives. And when they were studying, they looked at this objectives and they created this super long search queue here with lots of ors and it brought up about 70 or 80-ish cards so it was really easy for them to unsuspend all the cards that they needed. And that is why these advanced searching tools can be really useful. They can be a quick, easy way to find the cards you need. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.